What's up guys, the last over here. So, just wanted to make a uh, short video. Um, Patch Notes went live today for Injustice 2. So I wanted to cover my favorite characters in the game. Uh, mostly in this video we're going to be covering... Uh, I will cover others if you guys are interested. But for right now we're going to cover Captain Cold, uh, Red Hood, and Black Canary. Which are the three characters I enjoy playing the most. So, let's go to Captain Cold. Sorry I'm looking down because I'm looking at all my notes. Well, I'm looking at the patch notes. Uh, that another own put up. So Captain Cold actually got a few changes that they didn't say during the stream. Um, adjusted hit regions on several of his normal attacks. Uh, this attack right here, which is a standing three, uh, is meant to be a really good anti-air. Supposed to be his anti-air. Even though his down two is really good, and I'll probably stick with that. But this has a really good hitbox. Unfortunately, before the patch, it wouldn't hit sometimes. So, but now they fixed it to where where it looks like it's going to hit, it will hit. So let's set the opponent to jump forward. And you can, you can pretty, well see that one was a little weird. You can anti-air him with it. And it's a really good, really good hitbox. Uh, it starts up pretty quick. At least it seems like it does standing standing three. Uh, startup is only 10 frames so and it's negative six on block so it's safe and uh, so it's just overall pretty good pretty good in here obviously there is still a little bit of timing required in it I'll have to mess with this to see if you can get something off this because it seems like the recovery is kind of high yeah recovery is 33 so this is another thing is like I don't know why you would use this for an anti air still And then you can cancel it in a puddle. Oh, there you go. So you could do something like that. Um, I'll, overall, I had to mess with it more. So let's move on. Let's move on to the uh, the next thing. All right, the next thing that they seem to change with him that's important. And I'm mostly going over all the tournament stuff. I'm not going to go over his gear abilities because those aren't available in tournament mode. Uh, let's see. Big Freeze Meter Burn no, now ignores projectile immunity, which this I didn't know, but I guess this move right here, which is Big Freeze, used to have projectile immunity. I had no idea. So I guess when you're throwing this out and getting hit with a projectile, this would take priority. Uh, I guess that doesn't happen anymore. So that's somewhat of a nerf, uh, even though I'd never really noticed that before, so I don't know about that. Uh, Captain Cold, let's see. And then some overall changes. Basically, he just, um, had to change this to a lot of strings to reduce startup and make him overall just quicker. So, you can apply pressure. Um, so a lot of the startup frames on a lot of these strings have been reduced. And, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, he still has some shitty strings. Like, this is all high, which I don't know why. All three of those are high. Your opponent just neutral left them. Um, this I think they did change. It's negative one now on block. I think this was more negative. Uh, another thing that they changed with Captain Cold is that the ice wall, this is probably one of my favorite things out of the patch that they didn't say on the stream. Ice wall meter burn used to have a lot more knockback than that. Uh, now it doesn't, which you might think is a bad thing as Captain Cold because you want to keep your opponent away and harass them. But in a way, this is kind of good because on block... Uh, on block it's plus three so you could get in there and go for some other strings as you see that will not hit but you could get a little dash in and go for uh, this forward advancing just to apply some pressure game so I actually do like this uh, I think this might be uh, this might give you some kind of pressure because before that would just push away so far uh, now you can literally just dash in once and get something going. Uh, you're only got plus three though, so you're not at a crazy advantage. But uh, your forward advancing uh, forward is really good, so it's a it's a pretty good move. So your forward advancing uh, two three string is really good, and you can hit confirm that into a uh, full combo. So it's interesting. Another thing that they did is a uh, ice wall when you meter burn it. There used to be six frames of gap when you went to meter burn. 
and the six frames of gap of projectile could actually go through it and hit you. Uh, now that's now you, the gap is only one frame, so you're not gonna get as as much. You're not gonna catch as much shit for this throwing this out there. So that's another like, good thing. It's just an overall improvement. Um, then there's some a few little bug fixes. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Force force field now activates five frames faster and has five less recovery frames. So this, I mean, this I gotta mess with because this is weird. It looks, I mean, as you see, you can throw two out and stack them, and uh, now that they're quicker, so you might be able to get something in the corner with this, and that does do good damage. So um, that might be interesting to play with. Uh, originally I was thinking, man, that must be shitty, but because the recovery on it has been reduced as well as the startup, you're able to throw two out at the same time. So I'm thinking on a knockdown, like a hard knockdown, you might be able to set something up, or on a combo starter. So let's just, let's just do something, uh, let's just do something basic real quick. Uh, just something like so it's it's gonna end up being a lot of damage, but you gotta gonna have to mess with this a little bit. Let's just see how much two of them stack up do. There's got to be some way we can utilize this now. I just see it does good damage it's stacked. Um, there's got to be a way to utilize this in a combo, because then that damage would be pretty good. So I'm thinking on like a hard knockdown, set one up, and then maybe go for a mix-up into a combo and instantly put another one up and keep looping them somehow. I really want to use for this move. Um, so we'll have to, I'll have to keep labbing that, and uh, I'll get back with you guys if I find some more dirty tech with that. We'll have to see. Um... Other than that, I believe that's about all. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the rest is mostly bug fixes and just uh, quality of life fixes for Captain Cold. Um, next, we'll be going over. We're going to be going over Red Hood, which only got a couple changes. So I'll be back with you guys with some uh, some Red Hood. So. Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, so now we're just going to go over Red Hood. Red Hood has probably the least changes out of all the characters. Uh, there used to be, a, I guess, a bug with Ground Mind where it acted more as an interactable, which I don't know exactly what that means, but it had interactable properties, so I really don't know what they mean by that. But um, I guess they fixed it. Uh, I guess it had uh, the same properties as a uh, interactable explosive, so... Anyway, Red Hood Battle Chain, Meter Burn, now has 20 advantage on hit from 39. Uh, this is something I have to try out because... This grab in this string... I don't know why it's not coming out, what the fuck? Huh. Alright, that right there used to be plus 39. And now it's not. I know you can get it off on fucking block too, at least you used to be able to. There you go. I must have been. So you used to be able to get a cross up off that because you you had 39 active frames, so you were able to get a slight step forward and then jump over. 
for a cross up. So you do, you do after this hits, you do, you had enough time to go for the uh, setup, and you could step forward and get the cross up in. Um, I, it's still gonna be pretty good. I'm you still be able to get the setup in. Um, I just think that your opponent can maybe get something out and might be able to trade with you. This is something that's gonna have to be uh, thoroughly tested against the cast. This might not work as good as it uh, set up as it used to. It seems to have uh, like more of a stun too, where I can't move right away. That's weird. Yeah, it definitely feels different. Um, they might have changed the frame data on that. Uh, startup's 21. On hit, it's 14 now. And recovery's 31. I believe they increased the recovery because I don't remember being that slow. You used to be able to guarantee a lot of pressure out of this. Because it was a plus 39 on block. Yeah, that's that's weird. They definitely increased the recovery on it. Alright, well that's fine. Uh, not too big of a deal for Red Hood. I think he should have kept that. Uh, to be honest, I don't think he was that OP like the other characters like Black Adam. And I didn't even see that many uh, players in any tournaments actually using that string, even though I think it's really good. It doesn't have, uh, it doesn't exactly have the same properties. And the throw part hits with high, so you can just neutral duck it. So... So I don't I don't know. That's a bit. I wouldn't have changed it. I don't think. I think Red Hood's in a was in a pretty fine spot. He definitely was good, um, but they changed it, so that's all right. Another thing they did is that they gave his lethal lunge, which is this one. Used to be, you could like po this could be your uh, basically your neutral, and your opponent would have, kind of have to respect it because you could go into that, which is overhead, and on hit it's pretty good and. Even on block, it's a, I believe it's safe. So it's a really good poke, kind of poker tool and just harass your opponent. Uh, it's startup is now 9 frames. It used to be 8 frames. Uh, meter burn at your negative 9 on block. But if you look where you land... Sorry. Gotta set this guy to stand. Uh, you're in a pretty good spot. So... As far as distance, you're negative 9, but look how far back you are. Uh, so you won't really get punished for that. So, anyway, that's all for the Red Hood changes. I'm going to switch to Canary, which she probably got. She got some of the, my favorite changes, and I'm really excited to be excited to play with her more and find out some new dirty tech. So, uh, I'll be right back with some black. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Alright, so, first off best thing with Black Canary now is that her, this string right here, New Wings, is actually a command grab now. Sorry. This is probably one of the best things in, in, a re, in before, there wasn't really a whole lot to use it unless you were going for something like a nice little cross up. You could go for it, um, but other than that there wasn't too much use for it. Uh, now, with it being a command grab, this is a really good pressure tool. And also another thing I figured out is puts you at, it puts you at a perfect position to do a front handspring and do a cross up. So this I'm really excited for. Um, you could do a jump, but jump if the, the opponent could just anti air you if he thinks you're gonna jump, or depends if he has a good anti air or not. But uh, I'm mostly excited for something like that. Go for a nice little cross up. It's gonna be really hard to block. Um, 
obviously people see your handspring they could block but then they gotta guess oh you know low or if you're gonna go for the low overhead so uh, it's gonna be all mind games which I think she really needed she needs something for sure in the neutral because that's what she was lacking and now that she got it I think this will help her a lot and then after the throw you could obviously go for a canary drop you could also go for something like that uh, your opponent's gonna be like I mean, this is her whole game plan, you know? Her opponent's gonna be like, what the hell's going on? So, I think it's gonna be, like, really fun now. Uh, she definitely needed something in the neutral. Um, I think this is one of her best neutrals right here, is her back one is really good. It's forward advancing. Uh, low and at low profile, some stuff. So, overall, really good change. Uh, I'm gonna briefly talk about the other things. That was the main thing they changed with Black Canary that is gonna definitely make her good. Um, so her soaring high move, which is, let's see, uh, soaring high, let's see what, I think, I believe that's her from her, uh, I believe that's from her handspring, oh, well, maybe it's not, oh, it's from this one. Alright, so we're back 1-2. This is actually better now. Uh, I thought it was already fine, and it actually got increased. Like, it's better now. So, her soaring high, uh, base damage is increased to 7 from 3, so the damage itself is increased, so that's good. It gives you a good damage and poke and a, kind of a mix-up, because you can uh, keep hitting them with this low. Get them, get them conditioned, and then go for the overhead. So... And everybody knows that this, if this overhead hits in this string, they're eating about 650 damage. So, that's pretty good. Uh, her high heel uh, has five more frames of block stun, increased pushback on block. Uh, I don't I don't like the pushback because when Canary gets in, she really wants to stay in. But uh, that's fine anyway. That's high heel. Let's see, I believe that's... Uh, So I can find that. Huh. Here it is. Her standing three. Wow, see that's really good. That de that definitely has more push block. So high heel has five more frames of block stun and increased pushback on block. So on block, uh, standing three, you're only negative three. Uh, startup's pretty good, and it has a nice little pushback, so you can use this to check people in the uh, neutral. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good check right there. Uh, I don't like the the way it hits. I wish it hit a little bit, a little bit lower, but so you gotta be pretty close for it to hit. Let's see, yeah, pretty close. That's the only downside, but it did get buffed, so it's a little bit better. Uh, holding back has one less, f has one less recovery frame. 10 more frames of block stun. So, her holding back. There it is. So, the 3 3 string there that I got buffed, it's plus 3 on block. It used to be like, it used to be different. It used to be like, uh, it definitely wasn't plus 3 before. This is really good. So it gives her something to apply pressure with when she gets in, and then enforce her mix-up game as well off of that. Uh, so it has one less recovery frame, so it recovers a little bit quicker, and 10 more frames of block stun, and it's safe. Uh, it's actually a really good move that people don't use enough, and you can combo off it, so if you hit confirm any of this, um, I would just throw these out there, stagger, stagger. Go for it, go for a flying kick when you see a hit confirm. So, not too bad, I like it. Uh, another thing too is just want to briefly go over all her handsprings to basically change the startup faster and the recover faster. So this gives you the opportunity for some pretty sick stuff. You can, um, now that they recover faster, I don't know if you could do this before, but because this, this recovers faster, I can actually get a 3-3 a three, three off this. And then and go for basically a combo. 
That's pretty sick. Or I go for a cross up. I think this is one of the best things I found out. Corner push, it's like a anti wake up. It's pretty sick. Um, also, the way it hits, it can actually go over certain wake ups, which is funny. But I think Batman's wake up is still will hit, will clip it. For a slide kick. Yeah, see. Still clips it, but you can mess around with it. So overall, pretty good. And now that the startup is uh, is definitely reduced on her handsprings and the recovery, I think you can actually use this as a uh, a decent wake up where you used to get checked out of it all the time. So actually, yeah, you should be able to really use this as a good wake up. So before I end the video, I'm gonna end it with a combo. So hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. We just break down uh, Red Hood today, uh, Black Canary, and Captain Cold, which are my three mains. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Cobra.